What's up everyone, my name is Michael Versperl, welcome back to my channel, and for today's video uh, we're going to be talking about a question that I get asked often, which is how many photos should I take when using Starry Landscape Stacker or Sequator, and the answer is not as simple as, hey, take 10 photos, because it doesn't really boil down to the number of photos, but actually the length of time, which I'll kind of expand on that as we go through this video. Now for this uh, test I was at Block Island. Um, off the coast of Rhode Island and basically I took 30 photos at 10 second exposures my ISO was 6400 f3.2 at 24 millimeters with my Nikon D800 so right before the Milky Way came up um, I was capturing these photos and what I did is I zoomed in at 400 percent so we're gonna check out the area of this lighthouse right here we'll take a look at the sandy area and also um, a part of the sky. So let's check this part out. So at five images stacked, we can see a decent amount of noise um, when we zoom in here. And as we go up to 10 images, it starts cleaning up pretty nicely. And it's gradually getting better and better the more images we use, but it kind of levels off around 20 images. Um, you could see from 15 to 20, the sky gets a little bit better but at 20 25 and 30 there's really not a huge difference um, you know it's slightly cleaner but we are really pixel peeping here we're at 400 percent so um, it, it's really negligible because you know most people aren't gonna be viewing their images uh, zoomed in this much so let's just jump over to the sandy area I keep doing that sorry same thing, five images came out a little darker, and then um, the more images we add, it kind of got a little brighter and cleaner. Um, but again, if we zoom in even further, around 20 to 30 images stacked, it doesn't really have a huge difference. And let's jump over to the sky here. So we got a decent amount of noise. And then we work our way over, and the difference is very small around this range. Now in the beginning of this video, I had mentioned that the length of time being spent on your images will equal better quality, not necessarily the number of photos being stacked. So if we jump over to, let's say 30 images, for example, 30 images, at 10 second exposures is 300 seconds or five minutes. Now if I had taken a 20 second exposure instead of 10 and I only took 15 photos, the stars would be a little elongated but the noise level should still be the same as 30 images or very very close because even though I'm not taking the same number of photos I'm taking less photos the length of time being spent to create that image is still the same it's still five minutes so in theory the quality of the noise level should be the same as long as the ISO and the f-stop don't change uh, I'm just talking about the shutter time when doing this experiment um, we see here you know five images at 10 seconds cumulatively that's a 50 second exposure now I could take 10 photos at five seconds and stack them together and I should get similar results to this I could take 20 photos at one second and it should come out worse than this even though it's more photos because it's only a one second exposure which means I'll have to increase my ISO and when I stack those all together I'm still not spending the same amount of time as I am as five images at 10 seconds. So I know it could get a little confusing but basically just pick a time frame that gives you the best results that you're satisfied with. So for example for me I'm perfectly fine with the 20 images stacked at 10 seconds, which is 200 seconds. So 
if I ever go shooting and I decide to change my shutter speed to let's say 15 seconds, uh, I would do 200 seconds divided by 15 seconds, and which gives me about 13, it's 13.3333. 13 uh, so I would just round that up to 14 photos. So if I take 14 photos, uh, it should give me good results at 15 second exposures. Um, obviously, if I'm doing a shorter exposure, let's say I'm doing a five second exposure, then I'm gonna wanna double this number from 20 to 40 images. So that's it guys, uh, it's pretty easy once you have that number figured out. Hopefully this helps you in the future. So get out there and shoot. Please like and subscribe and I will catch you guys next week.